Hello guys, in this lecture I am going to teach you the basics of time response analysis. This is the second unit in control systems subject. So in the previous unit, we discussed about the finding of transfer function, finding the transfer function from mechanical systems and electrical systems. So after that now, we have to analyze that transfer function in the time domain. So this is the time response analysis. So these are the topics we will be discussed in this unit. First of all, what do you mean by the time response? The response given by the system which in function of the time to the applied excitation is called time response of control system. This is the basic definition of time response. Okay, closed loop transfer function CFS by RFS is equal to gain divided by gain plus feedback gain. Here CFS is the output response, RFS is the input response in S domains. If we want to get the response in time domain, then CFT is equal to inverse Laplace transformation of the CFS. So, I will tell you simply in the example, time response analysis means a system time to compare chest to the analysis cycle, that is called time response analysis. But then response and for example, circuits which was contained, circuit output the element current calculate chest. That is the output current. So that is the current response of the circuit in time domain. Physical system. So previous lecture low manam, I mean previous unit low, physical system susam. Then best example application fan this kundi. So fan is a physical system that consists a transfer function. We have to analyze the transfer function in time domain. So fan, put fan switch on chaygani immediately then rated speed gain out. So it takes some time to reach that rated speed. So that time is called the transient time. And after it is getting the rated speed, then the after the rated speed is called the steady state time. So clearly explain just in the next slide low. Then can a mundan kokati. So take a bowl, then drop a ball in this bowl. Then ball aim just in the so e upside key and downside key. Okay. Up key down key alago oscillate out and final ga it steady state position cost in the okay now. So e then behavior starting in chi ending work with the behavior man analysis statement time response analysis. Clear? So in that concept of time response analysis, we will get the two responses, transient response, steady state response. So transient response means the output variation during the time it takes to achieve its final value. Already the moon slide example chip one. Ball and then steady state position ground and moon oscillations are jarugut unte. At time lo jarige variations anni koda output variations are the transient response on term. After getting its final value, steady state position goochi and tharavata, Remaining time on the code is steady state response in chapel. Steady state response definition in the, the response of the system as time approaches infinity from the time at which transient response completely dies out. Clear? So, for example, right side graph churandi, a graph on the, it is trying to attain that rated speed. A dotted line spine on the dotted line is rated speed of the fan. Then this is the graph. It, it will reaches to the rated speed. So, during that period, during that time, the response of the system is called transient response. After getting its original position, I mean rated speed reach in Taravatanta Koda, steady state response. So that period, the period I mean the time. So during the transient time on the during the transient state response on the code time period transient period and ship them. Okay. So after that steady state period. This is the some of the analysis of transient response. Now, then physical system and time response analysis say we need some test signals. So every element, every physical system consists an input. Okay, then example come from laboratories low, you just a signal, step signal, ramp signal, parabolic signal, impulse signal, sinusoidal signal. Present man this kun application example fan. If fan is input into sinusoidal signal, so man test it and man me sinusoidal signal this call generate just koni by using function generators. As signals na apply just kun then transient analysis no try try just them. I mean time response analysis just them. Clear? So alani every system ko koda maximum step signal or ramp signal, parabolic signal, e basic signals ani koda test signals and chip them. Step signal is like a DC DC input. Okay. Now we will move into the depth of the signals. So first one is the step signal. 
This is like a DC input. Now coming to the mathematical representation of step signal, R of T, R of T is the input uh, signal in time domain. So this is equal to 1. See the graph in the right side. At time 0, it attains the final value that is 1. Right, this is the step signal like a DC input. So right side on the graph observed chain at time t equal to 0, it attains some value that is 1 or a. For example, unit step signal, then this value is called unit 1. Or it is uh, something of value and quantity, for example, or a or b, then of variable to indicate chess coach. Okay, then value may depend on the unit the method one value on After greater than t equal to 0, it maintains same input. Okay. So that at t greater than it is equal to 0, the value of the input is 1. t less than 0, the value of the input is 0. Next one is the ramp signal. Ramp signal R of t input A mount on the end. step signal 1 into A, then it is A and code chapachu. And A means the a value. Now coming to the ramp signal, mathematical representation of ramp signal. Ramp signal allow on the it is a linear. So, input and I mean function and time key linear ke vary out well. So, then the slope equal equal. Slope is equal. So, then the value input r of t is equal to a into t. Okay, at t greater than it is equal to 0. Less than 0, it is a 0. Next one parabolic signal. The mathematical representation of parabolic signal is r of t is equal to a into t square by 2. This is at t greater than it is equal to 0. For less than t, it is a zero value. Okay, this is the representation of parabolic signal. Now coming to the impulse signal. Impulse signal is put a magnitude and the infinity onto the So then ki input and the delta of t can consider just so at t equal to zero degree matter then magnitude and the highest onto that is delta of t and t not equal to zero it then value zero equal to okay at t equal to zero degree matter value onto that is the impulse signal. This is the standard test signal stable. So, if you observe this table, there are four signals, step signal, ramp signal, parabolic and impulse signal. So, step signal in time domain, A, I mean, we call it shape and 1 into A, that is R of T, okay. In the Laplace transformation approach, A by S, already you know the Laplace transformation of constant, K by S, okay. Unit step signal, unit step signal, you can take it as input 1. So, the in Laplace transformation of 1 is 1 by S. Now, coming to the ramp signal, ramp signal time domain equation is just integration of the step signal. Okay, integration of the step signal, the constant integration is A into T, right? So, the Laplace transformation of constant, I mean T is equal to 1 by S square. So, A by S square for unit ramp, unit ramp means A equal to 1. So, it is T, T is equal to 1 by S square. Parabolic, parabolic key just integration of ramp signal. Okay, now in Chipton process, we go to step signal integration approach as the ramp of the ramp signal integration approach as the a into t square by 2. So, then the Laplace approach as the a by s cube, right? A unit parabolic a equal to 1 unit to function as a value and the man 1 t square put in then t square by 2 1 by s cube impulse delta of t. So, delta of t k put a quarter Laplace transformation 1. Clear? These are the some basics of time response analysis. So, before going to the in depth of the time response analysis, we have to learn these basics. I mean test signals and what do you mean by transient response and statistic response. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Okay, we will meet in the next lecture.